Hey, what's going on, guys? Seldubber here, and uh, I have a discussion video today about Super Smash Bros. 4, or 3DS Wii U, whatever you want to call it. But um, today's discussion is going to be about a character that is highly underrated, in my opinion, and that is Donkey Kong. Now, um, I plan um, sometime, maybe later this week, I may get started on it, uploading some really awesome matches I've had with DK um, on the 3DS version. I don't have a Wii U, but it's still the same game nonetheless. So I wanted to just discuss right now why I think DK is underrated, and then also why I think in the right hands he's actually quite viable. So, um, you know, self-proclaimed, I consider myself one of the better DK players out there. Um, I have really studied him in this iteration, and I've been playing him since the original game, Super Smash Bros. on the N64, so I've had many years to, to learn the iterations of this character, but um, he's always been one of my top two or three in every Smash game. I've always loved DK, um, and at first I wasn't really playing with him in Smash 4. My, my, my first main is Samus, um, and usually it's DK and Luigi as my, my secondaries. Um, and in this game, it's the same case, but I've also, I've added Pit to that list, kind of. Uh, I think he has some pretty cool uh, melee combo game. But um, for this video, it's going to be about the big gorilla himself. So, first of all, why is he considered the lowest tiered character in the tournament tier listing? Well, it's simple. He's a big target. That's the number one reason He'll get juggled easily. He's vulnerable in the air. Um, projectile game destroys him um, most of the time. I mean, if you get caught fighting a good Link or a Duck Hunt dog or a villager, you are going to be really you're going to be pulling your hair out of your head uh, with Donkey Kong. He's just um, it's a real challenge to fight against spam um, and against faster characters like Sheik or uh, even I guess uh, well Little Mac Meh. But um, I find another character that is hard to beat with him is Ness. Ness is I, I, Ness is one of my least favorite characters in Smash. He's such a cheap piece of crap, and the throwing mechanic is broken. I I, I just don't like Ness. That's my opinion. You, if you love Ness, great. I, you know, kick ass with him. But I can't stand a little kid. I've never liked Ness. Um, but um, regardless, um, I think people just assume big target. Easily juggable, in the, juggleable. I guess is that if that's a word. Easily juggled in the air. Um, you know, it requires to get close, and that's another thing. Like you have to be close to DK. There's no option. I mean, he's a melee character, right? He gets in and starts pounding people. Um, but what you learn as an experienced Donkey Kong player, and I'm gonna defend this character uh, because I call myself an expert Donkey Kong player. He is an extremely combo-centered character. And what I mean by that is his attacks are deceptively good at, at, at coming into combos. So you think a power character, like, oh, just big hits. Like, you know, one big smash attack, a big smash attack, another smash attack. DK has a great mix-up game. I mean, if you do a, you know, a forward A, a down tilt, up tilt, you can do a headbutt, you can do... He has four smashes... He has four smashes, down smashes, which can basically end a match. I mean, that alone makes him, as an approaching character back to the stage, extremely threatening. I have won many matches with the down smash. The overhead axe handle, boom. I, I've, I have ended many matches and had many amazing comebacks with that one move. My camera just went off, so I'm just saying, with that move, I have done amazing things. Um... And, quite frankly, DK has one of the most dynamic, aerial, directional games in the game. He does this very cool flip on a second jump. And that second flip, you can really, you can move him in a certain way to off-put your opponent. Um, because a character like Ness, for example, his jump has a certain loop pattern, right? Link. His jump has a certain arched pattern. With DK, 
you can really go left, right, or up when you do the second jump, and you can really look, position yourself in a way that can throw your opponent off sometimes. And that's what I like about him. He's deceptive because you just think, oh, this big target, I'm going to wail on him. I'm going to rush in and get him. First of all, DK has some of the best aerial attacks. His back air and all of his spikes are absolutely amazing. But on top of that, his headbutt uh, is just a great move to guard against the recovery. So if a guy's like crossing the vertical line at the edge of the stage, and they are right at the vertical line, you jump up with DK and hit a headbutt. It's going to do some great damage, and at high enough damage, it's going to be a KO. So that right there um, makes him deceptively dangerous in the air. And I think um, because he can tank a lot of damage, you can take those aggressive uh, chances to chase people down in the air. Um, and it just takes timing and getting to know him because he is a little bit awkward at first to learn because you're thinking he's a heavy guy, i got to do the big hits, i got to, you know, stay grounded all the time. He's actually pretty good in the air. I mean, it, it, it takes some practice, but if you get the feel of him, you can really change, you know, his falling speed and, and throw people off. Um, and I think in this iteration, it's my favorite iteration of DK which is kind of funny because he's never been placed last on the tier list as far as I know. He's been he's been low, but I I think this is his lowest ever. And what I find funny about that is I just don't agree with it. Um, the, the, the things that really help him in this version more than the past versions, the the knockback, the knockdown mechanic, which goes right into a throw, or your up B on the stage. So the cyclone, the, the twister punch. If you do that on the stage after a knockdown, it'll suck in your opponent. And it's so fun to combo that. Do it twice in a row. You get, you know. I mean, the knockdown feature is my and the bouncing mechanic are my favorite things in this iteration of Smash. By far. It completely revolutionized the game. Such a small little mechanic taken from the Tekken team made this game so much more appealing to me than Brawl, for example. So they replaced the stupid tripping mechanic with an actually good combat mechanic like the the bounce mechanic. I love it. I love it. So DK is one of the, the characters that benefits most from this new mechanic because he can run and get a grab, start throwing you. He can do a ton of different follow-ups if you are knocked down. And um, personally, I'm a big fan of it. So overall, I'm going to try and get some videos up later of some matches where I hopefully can demonstrate some of DK's strengths. But I think... He is a highly underrated character. Take some time to master, but that's the fun of it. If you can master one of the more challenging characters to get down, then DK is the one for you to try. And it also shuts up people who, who think you're silly for choosing him because they're like, oh, he's choosing DK. I'm going to kick his ass. No. No. I have had more comebacks down a stock in 100 health with DK than any other character by far because DK can end a game in a four-hit combo. And that four-hit combo ends with the axe handle down smash, but the uh, spike attack. But either way, if you get them off the stage, you can set that up. Kind of like Mario. But um, a another bad matchup with DK is Mario. A good Mario player can have their field day with DK, but it, uh, it depends. I mean, I've beaten Mario's with DK plenty of times, but I've also had some just annoying matchups against good Mario players. So anyway... Um, that's the video discussion. I may do other in-depth character discussions down the line because I'm a Samus player or a Luigi player. I've played a bit of Pit, but I, I wouldn't call myself an expert with him. Um, Captain Falcon, I just, I'm not really playing him in this game that much. I, I've always played him, but this is, I've kind of like switched my, my roles with DK and Captain Falcon. Like DK, I'm DK all day, every day in this game. I like how heavy and powerful his attacks are. Captain Falcon, too much flip kicking. I, I don't know. I, I, He's a great, he's always been a fun character, but I just, I don't know. Something about on this iteration, I'm not, I can't put my finger on it, but I just don't like him as much. So, uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully you enjoy the replays I upload later this week, and uh, hope you enjoyed the discussion. All right, that'll do it for me. Take care.